people, here we go again. Bears are back at home. This time we'll play the Vikings. It's snowing in Chicago. Hopefully this time Bears win at home. Oh man, hopefully we start off strong, kick ass, take names, and hopefully we do not struggle on offense, defense, and this is not looking good. Bears are three and six. I don't know what the Vikings record is because frankly they suck still, but watch well, be another upset for the banners. So I uh, see you guys at halftime. Go Bears! Yeah. With the whole coming from rookie Patrick O'Donnell. From 47. And the Bears will Bears are winning at halftime 14 to 10 over the Minnesota Vikings. Now, earlier in this game, Jay Cutler threw a 44 bomb, I think, to Bernard Marshall. If I'm wrong, then so be it. It was a great play, and I'm very, very happy they got the damn touchdown. But earlier in this game, the Minnesota drew for the blood. They got the field goal, and Robbie Gold had a chance to tie it. He missed it. You saw the video footage earlier in this game. I'm sorry, earlier in this video. And it sucks. Hopefully, he can redeem himself sometime in this game. It's a low scoring game at halftime, and my day and myself are having fun. At Coach's Corner, I just had nachos, little cheese, helico beers. It's not that busy now, but probably the second half of this game will be more busy because a lot of people want to see the the three o'clock games for some damn reason. So hopefully the Bears win this damn game because the Bears are 0-3 at home. They gotta win sometime, and it's snowing in Chicago, so it sucks. Welcome to November. So everyone have a good one and I'll see you after the game. Go Bears! Hopefully they keep more points on the board. Hopefully they don't blow this damn game. There it is, step and a half. Let's go, let's go. Go baby, go! Shit. Chicago Bears, you guys pick up the first victory at home. Thank freaking God. I thought we never gonna get the Bears first victory at home, but it was a freaking awesome win with a 21 to 13 victory over the rival Minnesota Vikings. Now we all know that both teams suck, but Jay Cutler did pretty damn good, okay? From my point of view. I know right before halftime, he had that pick, okay? Then he had another pick later on in the game. But overall, win is a win. But with this offense, we should have scored more points than 21, okay? It's what it is, what it is, okay? I'm, I'm going to make this short and sweet, this part. Okay, overall, Bears are 4-6, and 1-3 and three at home. And the other hand, for the Vikings, 4-6, and 2-4 and four away from their home. Okay, top performers, Jay Cutler just tore it up on the Vikings defense. 330 yards, 3 TDs, 2 picks. Um... 
Mafute, 26 carries for a buck 17. Now this guy was freaking awesome. It's not Brandon Marshall. It was Jeffrey. 11 receptions for a buck 35. Only one TD. Uh, Jay Cutler spread the ball. Why can they do that the last two games against the Packers and the Patriots? Well, I can tell you that right now. Number one, Patriots and uh, Packers are way better than Minnesota. Sorry about that. And a very gladly one. It was snowing or flurries in Chicago. And every status, we won. Okay, that's the bottom line. And towards the end of the game, Bears got a little lazy. Um, and then the quarterback from Minnesota, uh, his name is what, Waters, I think. Let's see. Yeah, Bridgewaters, he throw a deep, and I said to myself, please let this get picked up, please. And I was freaking right. I know my ex boss was kind of bummed out that his Minnesota Vikings fail to my Bears. And I told him um, when I visited him um, recently that the Bears going to beat his Vikings. He doesn't think so, and I was right. So probably next time we face him, we might lose. Hopefully that's not the case. Uh, our next game will be against Tampa. Our, our, our former coach, Lovey Smith. And our former um, quarterback, Josh. You know, our... You know, the guy who took over for Jay Cutler last season. Um, what else? Marshall, he had two TDs. Seven receptions, um, 90 yards. His average was 12.9. So, but Jeffrey, he just ripped it up, okay? He he destroyed um, fucking defense. Okay. And this part, the Vikings... Um, drew first blood, three to nothing. It was early in the first um, quarter. Then a score again, ten nothing. A lot of beer fans said, "Oh shit, this is gonna be another blowout." What happened in the last two weeks? Then early in the second quarter, Bears got a damn board, seven. It was ten to seven. So then. Actually, then um, I forgot what quarter was it. I think early the third quarter, or yeah, early the third quarter. Robbie Gold missed a field goal, really an easy field goal. They damn. So um, Bears scored again late in the second quarter, 14 to 10. In the fourth quarter, um, they scored again, 21. The 10 and that's the final score. I really wish Bears put more points on board. I really wish um, Bears um, defense um, did um, had interceptions, but they had one key interception. They sacked the uh, quarterback a few times. That's awesome. I'm not too sure the color got sacked. Um, not too sure, but that's all I am going to say. Great Bears win and stay tuned. For my Bears and um, Minnesota podcast edition, that means audio, that means I go more deep on this game. So everyone have a good one, and one more thing is, go Bears! Hopefully, they get this on the right path, you know? It's better late than never. Adios Bears fans, see you next Bears video. Sayonara! Yeah, glad they won.